Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing a video about um, my afternoon routine um, with the gerbils. I'm going to pick um, to do Keanu because he's the one that gets the first playtime. And I had an old video that I had just done actually on my daughter's channel, Faith's Furry Critters. I had taken over that for a time, but she's taken it back now, uh, which I'm thankful for, for her to be able to do videos on there. So, um, but anyways, I had done like a playtime, cuddle time. Um, with Keanu and so I always do this in the afternoon um, our set time is kind of like in between noon and 1 30 and I will get him out but before I do that as you can see he has this little hide here and he likes to go in here and eat he sometimes will go in there and maybe potty or bring food in there and then on the wheel dupes like to go to the bathroom as you can see there's so bitty droppings there and that's a daily thing he will do that at night so before we have playtime my routine is to take some paper and I'm going to clean both of these two things out and this off and that way that's done and it'll be good until you know tomorrow and then I'll get him out for playtime so as you can see, there was a little bit of urine inside of this, and I don't do a deep cleaning. When I do a deep cleaning where I change this whole cage out, um, I use vinegar water to spray everything down, or soap, you know, some mild soap and water. But usually I use vinegar water and spray it out. So, but this is just to kind of um, touch up each day is what I do. And if you're not aware um, from my other videos, um, Keanu, which I'm going to show, he is a fat tail gerbil. This isn't like the other gerbils that you see in the pet stores, um, at least here in the U.S. I think that they're more common in the U.K. in pet stores. Um, but this is a fat tail gerbil, and they are normally solitary. Um, I have seen people house them together, although sometimes... Um, they won't all get along and they can have injuries to their tail and things like that. So particularly the male, it's probably just better to um, have them singly, solitary. They do not require a friend. So um, he is, and right now I believe he is behind his wheel. Um, they usually need about two inches um, of bedding and this fluffs up really deep. So, um, but anyways, two inches of bedding. And as you can see, he drinks from a water dish, which every day he gets fresh water. He has a toilet paper roll, a whimsy to chew on, this hide. Oh, and the other one I already cleaned out and put in the playpen because he likes to get into that one um, when we have cuddle or playtime. He has his food dish, this to climb in, and he has his wheel. So these are just the standard things. Sometimes I switch things in and out. And during his playtime, I'll put a lot of times different toys in there. Although today I'm just going to get him in the playpen and kind of cuddle him in his blanket. Okay, if you can see, he's right back there in the corner. Now, dupes are different than hamsters in that they do not usually mind being picked up, and this is a good time to have interaction with them. If you wait until they're moving around, running around on their wheel, they can become territorial when you try to reach for them. Um, not all of them, but uh, quite a few of them do that. So I always recommend picking them up from their sleep, which does not bother them, and let them gradually wake up. So I'm going to pick him up now. Okay. As you can see, that was really easy. He doesn't fight me at all or anything like that. And he just chill and sleep it. So um, I'm gonna set him here for just a minute. And like I said, this is his little hide he like. Now each of my rodents have their own blanket and some of them look alike, so I have to keep them you know, in a specific spot so I know whose is whose. But um, I have known some of mine to get a little mad if they can smell um, another one on them. Like I said, sometimes they can be territorial. So um, this is Keanu's special one and I keep it on a hanger in a certain part of my closet. But anyways, I'm going to cuddle him up in this blanket and we sit here and I just hold and stroke him. Well, I guess I'm gonna put him in the blanket, wrap him up. And it'd be hard for me to show you guys that because I'm here by myself right now. So um, I'm the only one taping and I don't have a tripod at the moment. So, but anyways, I'm gonna cuddle with him and then when he gradually starts to wake up, that's when I'll let him run around the pen. And sometimes, like I said, I'll put toys and stuff in here and then other times I'll just kind of let him run so he's got more room and he'll climb on me and stuff like that. So if he gets to where he's climbing on me moving around I'll show you guys that but it's kind of hard for me to show you holding him in this blanket and everything and I can freely hold him in my hand too and pet him it's just that it's kind of cold here today so I've got him wrapped in this okay here he is all cuddled up and so yeah he'll just let me pet him and everything this is really hard to do and hold this at the same time so I'll just hold him until he wakes up there and I'll let him run around and he'll come right up to me and everything um, when he's running around and cuddling to me. So 
Um, and this video may be a little redundant because um, the other one I showed was about like our cuddle time and play time. It was on my daughter's channel and I didn't save it so I couldn't find a way to transfer it over here. Um, but anyways, um, I let him have his time just however long he seems to be engaged before he gets tired of cuddling and running around and things. And then I'll put him back in his cage and then I will get his mother out, Chanel, and her cage is just above his on this um, wire uh, shelf organizer thing that I have. And so I'll get her out for her time. Um, I have one other gerbil and his name is Kawaii and that is his daddy and I get him out in the evenings. I've just found for him that that time works better and so I kind of space the um, play times out for each of them but um, Kawaii's time is in the evening where I get him out and I do it the same way. Um, I've seen a lot of people with gerbils trying to figure out how to grab them that they'll try to nip at them and things like that but they're usually picking them up when they're like in full active mode in their cage where they're wanting to run and stuff and they really just don't like to be interrupted at that point to be quite honest so this is the good time to do it and like I said it doesn't mess with his schedule he will still be very active at night and go about his normal routine so I've just kind of learned to do this every day um, as our routine and I do recommend getting them out daily for this bonding time now as you can see he's waking up more so he's getting right out I've been sitting here cuddling him for a while and um here he winks and a lot of times he'll stretch out to me and things like that um, in a minute I will put him down and I will I usually kind of give him a little massage and then um, I'll let him run around today like I said I didn't put any toys in here today for him but sometimes I'll put little things in there for him to explore and and stuff like that for some enrichment just you know different things to switch up for him to do okay there he is all stretched out there just massage, do his little massage. This is his little fat tail. If anyone's wondering, this is what a fat tail gerbil looks like. Um, they do have varying sizes of tails. My female, Chanel, actually has the very biggest of the fat tails, and um, which is good because, you know, with her having had babies and things, she needs a lot of fat storage extra for that, and that's what this is. Um, if you're familiar with the uh, uh, fat tail gecko, um, same kind of principle, it's just extra stored fat and things. And so it's a good sign of health um, for them to have that extra fat stores. As they get older, I've found that their tails seem to not store as much fat. They're not able to do that as much. So, um, Keon, not Keanu, but Kawaii is my oldest one. He's over two years old, and so his tail is thinner. Um, this is Keanu, and he is seven months old. So, yeah. And after he gets good and woke up, like now, he'll start running a little bit. Usually, like I said, he'll cuddle into me, see? And now, um, sometimes I'll lay down on my side in the pen, and he'll just get right up next to me. But he likes to, like, go under the blankets and stuff, too, because it is, like I said, pretty cold here today. Um, he loves this little hide. He'll run in in a minute, um, run around the pen, um, that kind of stuff. So this is kind of, like I said, our afternoon routine. I'll kind of see when he gets... You know bored of being out he'll kind of start scratching in there quite a bit and I can just kind of tell he's restless or he's trying to get out of the pen um, then I know that he's probably getting hungry or thirsty and they're very quick when they want to be I mean like when they wake up they are they're very quick so um but anyways yeah so this is our afternoon routine like I said and the routine is normally after he's done then I will get his mother Chanel out for a little bit same kind of thing um I from my experience just so far, it seems like the males are just a little bit more cuddly um, than the females. The females tend to be even quicker than the males are, more active. Um, Chanel will let me, you know, pet her to a degree. She doesn't like to cuddle up quite as much as these two do, but um, anyway. So she gets her time out of the cage too, and then later it will be um, Kawaii's turn. So uh, this is kind of our afternoon routine. I'm thinking about making a morning routine where I'll show kind of what they have for breakfast and what I do just in the morning times very briefly. And then the nighttime routine could just be um, maybe I could tape them in their pinch or in their. Uh, cage showing like what they do and stuff so anyways that's today's video um i would ask if you guys could follow me on tiktok um i will screenshot and insert um my username for tiktok it's actually crazy dupe lady because um fat tail dribbles are also called dupes or duper sigh and so um anyways most of the videos are just about keanu and uh Kwai and chanel and um i do have at least one video on there of my guinea 
Malachi that had passed away. So, but most of it is just, you know, my dupes. But I would appreciate you watching and supporting. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I thank you for watching today. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.